Whether the new presence of influencers and YouTube creators is good for the sport of boxing is up for debate. One thing is certain, since Logan and Jake Paul have entered the boxing ring, the sport has grown, and more importantly, amassed a new young audience that supports its fighters and supports the sport as a whole. Okay. It was nice to meet you. Chase your dreams, okay? Don't let anyone tell you you can't do something. Jake Paul, also known as the problem child, has been successful in marketing big events. He has shown that he takes this sport seriously, and even talked about his ambitions of facing the elite down the line. I said it before guys, Jake Paul versus Canelo, I win. That if Canelo and I fight one day, if he's dumb enough to get into the ring with me, I will beat his fucking ass. Who? Cool. Jake Paul. Did you take any notice of him? <laughs> After several successful fights, many of which ended in spectacular knockout versus other influencers, Former NBA players, notable MMA fighters, Jake suffered his first loss at the hands of Tommy Fury. Now, he looks to right that wrong and challenge another MMA icon. Enter Nate Diaz. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. A fighter that is going to present a new puzzle to solve with his grit and durability, as well as the mentality of a person ready to leave it all on the mat, or in this case, the ring. That's why we stay getting paid. Y'all running late. We moving on to the next. You still been stuck in the phase. There's no debate. We draw the line in the sand. We say it straight to your face. They on the rate. So we put the team on our back. The fighting scene has had conflicting thoughts on the bout, but many have expressed the opinion that Diaz's recent boxing may look off. I watched clips of Nate Diaz hit pads. I think I might have even told you, and I was like. You think he's getting smoked? Yes. Really? Yes. Embarrassing. They just upped it to 10 rounds now. It won't, it won't go four. Really? Diaz's fight is a big name and a big money fight, but he's a lot bigger. He's a lot bigger than Wait. Nate. He looks like a real boxer. He looks like a real boxer. He doesn't look like a guy who's attempting boxing. While others believe the durability of the Stockton Slugger will prove to be too much for Jake Paul. Um, if I had to pick, I'd probably favor Nate more. Um, Nate should have enough to be him. You know, I feel like his mentality is, is there. He's, he's tough and durable, great cardio. You know what's up? You know the answer to that question. What do you tell him? Can he come train with you? Yeah, the door is always open. Unlike his previous competition, Diaz has a very pressure-heavy boxing style. Even though he may appear to be clumsy at times, he can take lots of punishment and keep going forward. In many fights, he has been hurt, wobbled, even rocked, only to come back and win or hurt his opponent seriously. Against Conor McGregor, Diaz was able to secure a victory after suffering a beating in round one. Diaz almost knocked down the current UFC welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, at the end of their fight, even after losing most of the fight up to that point. Jake is one inch taller. Both fighters have a 76 inch reach. Paul is six and one, while Nate Diaz is making his boxing debut. This does not tell the whole story as Diaz has the experience edge. Paul's game plan will be to keep distance and look to land the big right hand. To do so, Jake needs his cardio on point, as it won't be easy to stop the tough Nate Diaz. The MMA legend will look to smother and tire Paul and try to get a finish late. Diaz will have to have his guard up at all times. He must cut off the ring instead of following the problem child everywhere he goes. Nate will have to wait for the right opportunity to unleash a barrage especially if Jake needs a break. 
No matter how the fight is going, Nate will look to pressure Jake and trap him on the ropes. When these moments come, Jake may have to clinch rather than exchange against the dangerous Diaz. We know Jake has that dangerous right hand, but can he knock out or hurt Nate Diaz? Instead, hiding the right hand behind a solid jab could be a good strategy. At 38 years old and lots of wars under his belt, Diaz is the older man. Will Diaz be able to once again defy the odds and find success? Or will the influencer fighting sensation in Jake Paul prove that he belongs in the sport of boxing? These are some thoughts on the Paul Diaz fight. We would love to hear from fans. And as always, may the best man win.